Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 25th of October, Holy Mother the Church celebrates the memory of Saints Crispin and Crispinian. Saints Crispin and Crispinian lived uh, during the second century. They were from Rome, but they both brothers went to Gaul, France of today, to preach the, and proclaim the gospel of Christ. So when they reached Gaul, they found the people there to be receptive and they started preaching to them. Day they used to preach and during the night they used to work. They used to work as cobblers mending the shoes. Because they were inspired by St. Paul who also had to work for his food. He was a tent maker, Bible says so. And this is how both the brothers, Crispin and Crispinian, carried on in their life, preaching, living their faith. So many people were edified by the Christian charity, by their work, by the example, and especially by their labors, by the way how they were down to earth, doing such menial jobs, yet proclaiming God's word. But this slowly came to the notice of the Emperor Maximian, who, in order to please the accusers, wanted them to uh, be tortured by one of the grievous torturers of that time, Rictovarus. So Rictovarus, who took pleasure in the pain of Christians, who took pleasure in tormenting and torturing uh, saints, he first tried to drown them, then tried to boil them, but he couldn't succeed in killing them. And that's how he killed himself. Rictovarus, who was supposed to kill these two saints, killed himself by jumping into the fire which he prepared for them. Later, the Emperor Maximian got both of them beheaded and later a church was built for them on their tomb. What do these two brothers stand to us? These two brothers, saints Crispin and Crispinian, stand to us as an example of humbleness, humility. They were so humble that even though they used to proclaim the gospel of Christ, they were preachers, yet they used to work for their food. And not a normal job, they were cobblers. They had to touch the feet of people who didn't believe in Christ. They had to touch the feet of infidels. Yet they did because they saw their master as a foot washer, someone who was the feet of his own disciples. And that humility they imbibed into themselves. And in that spirit of charity and humility, they lived and died. So may we take this cue from them to be humble, charitable, uh, to be down to earth so that the Lord may be well pleased by us. Amen.